Hey, what's going on guys? Today's video, I'm going to be fixing the touch digitizer on a Samsung model SGH-T399N or T399. So what we do here is this is obviously not the phone and forgive my washing machine in the background, but ladies and gentlemen, we have our new digitizer, touch digitizer here, which I actually bought on eBay. If I can find a link to an Amazon, I'll link it there. But first thing we do, if it's not already powered off, power off the cell phone. We're actually gonna be rem removing the battery as well. And how to do that, very simple. There's a little notch right there. Grab your fingernail right there. And it just literally lifts up just like this. Remove the back cover and then remove your battery like that. That's just to prevent shorting while you're removing cables, etc. What we're gonna be doing here, a heat gun is probably the easiest thing, but if you don't have a heat gun, a blow dryer will work. We're gonna be going ahead and heating up, not too far away, I'll go ahead and give an example in a little bit here. We're just gonna go around the border, that's where the sticky double-sided adhesive tape they use to press down the screen onto the case. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click it on, if you have a heat gun, the low setting, and we're gonna be coming up about, I'd say a good solid two inches off of it and cruising it around the edge. We're gonna be doing that for about, eh, about a minute or so until it's nice and hot to the touch. Now, when you do go to pry this up, I have one of these bad boys right here. That is easily gonna be able to pry it up. We're gonna put that suction cup right here and we're gonna pry it backwards. And notice the easiest thing to do if you don't know what to do is right here we have the cable ribbon right here and so here is where your thumb home button is right here and so obviously the cable ribbon is right there so we're going to peel up this way with our suction cup all right as you can see here i have a little kind of a guitar pick this actually kind of came with an old iphone repair kit that i had used but anyway a guitar pick would use would be just fine now, if the suction cup, for some oddball reason, is not being able to stick on it because of the cracked glass and it just doesn't get a good firm grip to it, try a very small, itty bitty bitty flathead screwdriver and just get the bottom lip when it's nice and hot. It'll peel up real nice. Now, the tricky thing is do not go further than this line right here with trying to remove it. You don't want to scratch or crack the LCD screen because obviously this is just for a replacement of cracked glass. My LCD screen is perfectly fine still. So as we're going to come around, you see this darker edge and then black just right here on the edge. You're going to go ahead and wiggle that around and go all the way back here. And again, it folds up. Watch the cable ribbon connector over here in the top right. And again, if it's not coming up very easily, heat it up again. Pull it up, heat it up again, pull it. Again, just watch the LCD. We don't wanna crack that or scratch it. Okay, now with it up, if there is any sided of double-sided tape that is around down here, go ahead and remove that, pull that up. Then we're gonna go ahead and flip it around here. And I've already removed one, but we wanna remove one screw, two screw, and three screws, and that's a small Phillips head. And after you're done with those top three screws, one by my thumb is another one, and then you're gonna have one right there in that slot, right there in that slot, that slot, that slot, and one more up by my finger right here. I laid them out right here, so we have the top three, one, two, three, the side ones, and then one, two, three, four down at the bottom. And then what you do here, it's gonna be a little tricky to show on camera with holding the camera, but right on, right on the side here, you're gonna see notches left of my thumb, right there as well. And then over here on this side, you're gonna see little notches right there. And you're gonna get, again, your little Jimmy tool. I just used a flathead small screwdriver, gonna be very careful. And then just pry at those little spots right there and then the whole thing will lift up. I took out my SIM card as well, just for added protection. And then it just flops right off. That's the back there. Okay, Okay. now we need to flip up this little ribbon tab right here. Just flip that up. And then again, grab your little pry tool, be very gentle here. But what we're gonna do here is we need to actually get the motherboard up off of the phone. Work your way down here at the bottom and go ahead and lift it up right there and right up here at the top and lift it up. Now, when you do this, if anything gets caught, you wanna take it from this direction here and lift it up, making sure that your camera comes up and isn't stuck. And you're actually gonna be lifting it up here like this. Now be very careful because we have a lot of ribbon cables back here that are still tied in. This one right here, this one down here. If you want to, you can go ahead and remove those if it makes it easier for you, or if you know what to do and you can work with it here, 
This is our touch digitizer ribbon we need to slip back in, but we also need to remove this guy right here so that we can lay that in, stick that in, and put our new ribbon in. Okay, okay, now how to remove this guy here so we can actually get to it. There's a little sticky tape on the bottom of this here. What I did is I just came in very gently right here like this, lifted that up, and this whole entire piece here lifts up again, be very gentle with it, but that lifts up completely and you can move that out of the way. Again, be very gentle with that and we're gonna go ahead and stick that back into place once we're done. There is the stickiness of it right there. Okay, now we have full access to our ribbon for our touch digitizer here. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and remove the ribbon right over here. Okay, remove that little sticker that was on top and then flip it from left to right. Again, left to right, it folds up straight just like it did here and then it just slips straight out straight back in, fold that from right to left down, put the new one back. Okay, remove the protective backing to expose the double-sided stickiness. Go ahead and slip your ribbon through and then press this down without touching the LCD. If you have any thumbprints or anything like that on the LCD, clean that first obviously before you put this down. And then once this is perfectly set on, then you wanna go ahead and seed your ribbon in because what we wanna do is we wanna concentrate fully on securing this, but obviously feed it through the hole first then press it down. And that's what it looks like when the new one is put in. I think that's actually magnetic on the bottom, not sticky. And again, we latched our little latch from right to left. Now it's folded down. Okay, now if I can find it, there it is. I'm gonna go ahead and put that little sticky tab back over that little latch and then put it all back together. All right, all the screws are back in, all seven of them. Again, three on top, two right here, and four right here. Before we do put the battery and the backing back in, what we wanna do again very carefully now, it's very simple with this one because obviously the home button just goes right around here, this goes right around here, et cetera. But what we wanna do, we still have some plastic here, but before we remove that and fire it up and do a little test run, very gently, we're gonna just go ahead and slide or very gently press. I'm gonna do it with two hands, obviously. You wanna get that double adhesive stickiness sealed on there really nicely. So just kind of grab it like this. And again, kind of go around it being gentle, but you know, push down, you know, firm, but you know, so we get a nice little stick, kind of rub it around like that. But watch your LCD screen. You do not wanna like rub it really hard on the corners. You do not want to break your LCD screen, especially after all the work we just put into it, which actually wasn't that long and pretty easy, as long as you know what to do. So again, kind of, you know, push down, kind of rub it around a little bit there, all around the sides. I'm going to do it with two hands, making sure it's nice and seated, sticking real good like that. Be back. Alrighty, the moment of truth. And what's nice is that you actually do get to feel like you just bought a brand new phone. Peel that back. Let's go ahead and fire it up. Fresh glass. And let's go ahead and turn it on right then there. Ladies and gentlemen, let me get that in the actual light. Looking beautiful. We did a great job. No dead pixels, meaning that we did a great job without cracking the LCD, which is an absolute plus. So guys, that is how you fix your Samsung phone. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will be linking some of these tools that I did use. To be honest with you, I used this little pry flathead screwdriver. I used my tweezers. I used a Phillips screwdriver, I use this right here, I use my heat gun, I will link those in the description box below. And obviously, I got mine on eBay, but I will try to find one on Amazon. I will try to find a link for that so that I can link that up. Everything will be below in the description box. You guys have a wonderful day. Consider subscribing, because I got a lot of awesome videos and a lot of awesome projects on the way. I'll see you guys next time, bye-bye.